I don't know if you've been covering the story of this racist incident, this insane, heinous racist video involving the University of Oklahoma's chapter of the SAE fraternity. And the latest is that the University of Oklahoma yesterday expelled two students that were accused of playing a leadership role uh, in this racist video. One of the students issued an apology. The family of the second student also did the song that they were caught singing on video goes there will never never be a nigger in SAE there will never be a nigger in SAE you can hang him from a tree but he can never sign with me there will never be a nigger in SAE the video was posted online just a couple of days ago by unheard which is a black student group at Oklahoma University uh, and it shows the students on a rented bus singing the song the song also makes references to lynching. It says we're never going to accept blacks into our fraternities chapter here in Norman, Oklahoma, even though the chapter has actually had black members in the past. There's another layer to this, which is that the school's Delta 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 sorority chapter also was feeling some of the heat because they had some members who were seen in the video. But this has mostly been focused around SAE and there's another piece to this now, which has come out, which is that the house mother for the the chapter of SAE initially expressed being appalled by these horrible videos and this is going to be taken very seriously and so on and so forth, except now there's a video of her repeatedly using the N word and just laughing it up. Take a look at this video. <laughs> This is not the issue of foremost importance when it comes to what's going on on college campuses, but this is absolutely insane. That particular chapter of the frat has been dismantled and kicked off campus. Uh, this house mother started fundraising for herself because she said, oh, because the, the frat chapter was dismantled, I lost my job started fundraising and actually raised some of the money. And then this video leaked of her saying nigger, nigger, nigger. And now that fundraiser has been taken down as well. And it amazes me with the recent fallout that uh, around race and around these types of incidents. Wouldn't you think that anyone who is smart enough to get into college would be smart enough not to go around singing songs like this? And, and I know that University of Oklahoma is only 5% black. Uh, and, and maybe there's a feeling of comfort around this or safety that you're not really going to get in trouble. But broadly, with regard to college students being racist, kids are not born racist. They are taught racism from somewhere. And who knows where they're from? It's the, the first place I would look, obviously, would be the parents. But you could say, well, maybe it's the uh, uh, the local media environment where they grew up or something. You could make some other case, but typically it does start with the parents of creating a framework of, of either um, uh, racial understanding or racism. And the 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 link here in racism seems to follow SAE because four years ago at Cornell University, the SAE chapter was also closed down and many members left the school altogether because they hazed a black student to death. George Dedun, who was an aspiring doctor, was 19 years old, sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, son of Haitian immigrants. His hands and feet were tied with duct tape and zip ties. He was blindfolded and he was given so much alcohol that he died within a few hours of the hazing, all alone, unconscious. He was found dead by a college cl cleaning crew the next morning, his mother filed a twenty five million dollar wrongful death suit in the case. Just think about what's going on, right? I mean, this is tragic at its face. But when viewed in light of the recent controversy at SAE, we obviously have to wonder what the racial uh, implications are broadly for SAE. I saw on, on CNN that the SAE spokesperson or some some PR guy for SAE saying, there's just nothing at all that that is connected specifically to SAE and racism here. Um, but we've seen uh, numerous SAE chapters cited for egregious racism at Clemson, Washington University, Oglethorpe, Baylor, Valdosta State, as I mentioned, Cornell and now University of Oklahoma. We'll continue following the story.
And I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get some emails from the racism apologists saying that there's some kind of double standard here and white people are oppressed and nobody takes white uh, racism against white people seriously. Uh, I anticipate that. I don't really care. This is a story of racism and this is a very egregious story. And the, the number of factors at play here are just absolutely sickening.